Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks. I am currently at Kyle's picking up this trailer because I'm sure you can tell we're gonna pick something up today. I'm really, really excited about that. Yeah. All right, I got the trailer all set up. Let's go buy a Jeep. So we're in the Duramax. The Duramax has a full tank of fuel. We are in trailer mode because you saw what we're dealing with. I don't have a mount for my phone, so my phone isn't in the best place for directions. But it looks like we will be there at 3 o'clock. It's currently 12.46. So we're looking at a 2 and a quarter, 2 hours and 15 minutes. We'll see what this thing looks like. Kind of looks like that right there, really. You know, if they just sold that, I wouldn't have to drive 2 hours. It was only about 10 minutes down the road. It's been about an hour. I am currently following what looks to be like a house there. Now I'm doing like 60, 65. Not right now, I guess I'm doing uh, 58. But that thing is doing a wonderful job, an absolutely wonderful job for what it looks like it is. However, I am not impressed with his blinker system because that thing is probably the original light there and I can barely see any light emitting from it. That thing was awesome. So I'm looking at the Jeep right now. I got the trailer in position. Uh, I came up with a deal. This is the beast right here. It's got a seven inch lift. The tires are shot. It's got uh, chrome rims. It's missing a few lugs there. But uh, it doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape. Now we're gonna try to get it on the trailer. He's The owner is gonna be uh, Evil Knievel. This uh, gas tank's cover's gonna come with it. All right, John, you can fire it up and try to get it on. Don't run though. Holy cat. The only thing is, is it stalls out a bunch. There's something screwed up. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. I might have to put the camera down. Let me put the camera down so we don't kill anybody here. Yeah, this thing has no brakes at all, and um, we're gonna try to load it. Hey, wait right there. That's better. Yep. Yeah, right there. Yep, yeah, right there. That looks awesome. Yeah, that should be where we want to be. Oh, you guys, let's check this thing out. I've been on the road for like 45 minutes or so. We'll check this thing out, see what you guys think. We're parking by some other cool toys here. We got a school bus and a huge excavator. All right, it's super windy here. This is not a good spot to make a video. But the thing looks like a savage and the Duramax is hauling it like a beast. And I am a very, very happy 3D machines. So I'm currently on a throughway. I don't think this is an expressway and I don't think it's a highway. And it's certainly not a driveway, but we're in Pennsylvania and we're about to cross the New York state line. Now look at this road right here because I, I just came from New York, so I know how the roads are there. But check this out. See how there's not a lot going on here? I mean, we have a couple things repaired with that black stuff there, but there's not a lot of bumps. I'm not bouncing around, okay? The state line is a couple hundred yards up here. I'm gonna get the camera out and I'm gonna show you how bouncy, how bouncy this camera is going to get, okay? Right now, we're it's like glass. It's compared to what we're going to go through. How's that? It's going to be like glass. I'm going to continue to document this. These bridges, of course, are going to be bumpy because that's how all bridges are. Okay, so here's New York, okay? Just got into New York. Check this out. You already got holes in the pavement. Now this isn't like, oh, New York, you suck. But at the same time, it's kind of like New York, you suck. So like, look at this. This is all potholes right here. All terrible. You can already hear my truck bouncing and going into the potholes. Now that's not even the bad part. Let me continue to document the difference between Pennsylvania and New York. Give me, give me like one or two miles. This is what the majority of it is, is the median goes to hell. But this side is surprisingly way, way better than the side going into Pennsylvania. I guess they must want you to ease into New York. Now, I'm not saying this stuff to like bitch and complain because I, I don't like to bitch and complain. I'm just stating, you know, we went from one state to another and there is a huge, huge difference in, uh, in infrastructure. That's my two cents, I'm done. So we made it to New York State, good old New York State. 
And uh, I've already been waved at by a, a fellow Jeeper. Am I now a Jeeper? The first place I brought it to was the car wash. Tell you what, I'm glad I didn't go through this thing all the way because I don't think I'll clear this hose here and this hose looks like it's dry rotted. So I'll have to definitely back up. This thing isn't very dirty. It's really not that dirty, just the tires are dirty. So it looks like I'm just gonna clean up what I can clean up. It's not too bad, I just have to remember to go backwards and not forward. Otherwise, we're gonna have a lot of chaos. I know you guys like chaos, but this time I think I wanna prevent that. I made it to the shop. Now, if my math is correct, the Jeep should fit in here. I mean, we have crushed, we have a huge mess on the floor. That's okay. Messes are fixable. I think we can do it, and we don't even have to pull any Chris Angel stuff. I got this side all ship shape. Clean that out, move that table over there. Now I should be able to. One machine in, one machine to go. The other machine doesn't have brakes though. I'm very, very concerned about that. Um, might have to move the BMW, otherwise we're gonna have a liability here. Since this thing doesn't have brakes, I was just pushing the clutch and just letting it roll down, but for some reason, now I'm pushing the clutch and it's not coming down the trailer, so I don't know what's going on, but uh, I hope it fixes itself real quick. I took the door off so that I could jump in there faster. I had to put it in neutral and push the truck, push the Jeep off the trailer, wait for the momentum to start carrying it, and then jump in the truck, and then try to find a gear real quick. And luckily I found a gear without smashing into my toolbox or anything like that. The Jeep's in here. This thing is tall. This thing is huge. This thing is awesome. All right, let's start checking this thing out. So it's got 15 inch wheels with some 35 tires, red paint job, and the guy, it looks like it's hand painted, but I don't know, it, it's, it's a weird thing. It's like the clear coat on the red just disappeared. Oh, it looks like this window even folds down. Is that what that hinge is for? Holy cats. I'm, I'm a welder and I learned a little bit about metals when I went to school, but this is aluminum. You can tell how it's oxidizing through the paint and it's also rusting the hell out of these bolts. So each one of those bolts will be a son of a pup to get out. But uh, that's something that a lot of people are too concerned about. There are a couple like big things and one of them being that it doesn't really run. It doesn't stay running, it starts and stops. Starts and stops. The second thing off to that is this mount here for this spring. Now this is just totally, uh, it just looks like a monkey just took a big crap on that basically. The, the rest of the frame, it's painted. It's not as good as it may look on camera, but it is very, very good considering its age, considering its location. Northeast, we do see some very, very bad stuff. Our frames turn extremely bad. But I do like that he went and got the uh, steel fenders here. I don't know if we're gonna keep these or not, but I do appreciate that. It does have a seven inch lift. It does sound like the diffs kinda need some work or some brakes need some work. This whole thing needs some work. I love to do this stuff and doing something on something that is relatively simple in my opinion. Like the differential's not completely rusted out. That cover's not completely rusted out. This. This fuel tank is kind of shot, and so is the one that he gave me. He gave me an extra one, but I think I'll just throw that away. I'll probably just buy something that's nice and clean because I eventually want to make this so it's very, very safe and very, 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 very awesome. Another thing that catches my attention is the fact that the differential is down here, but the converter is up here, and you have such a steep angle on that drive shaft. Is that something proper or is that something that I have to address? Oh, the camera's definitely not doing this any favors, but this this does need some work. It's solid considering all the other pictures. Now this one's, this body mount's the worst, but out of everything else that I saw online for this year, because I was looking for something near the 97 to like 2006, I believe, um, all of them, I mean, even the 2006, they were they were rusting out right here. So that's nothing we can't take care of. But I'm incredibly excited about this, incredibly excited. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if you have any like documentation, you can send that to machinemerch.com, or machinemerch.com, machinemerch at gmail.com. When I bought Crush, I had some hookups with this, 
and it was awesome. They made that very, very easy, and we got crushed on his way, and he's like 99% done. He was actually 100% done before the race, but after the race, we're gonna have to move that radiator back here. And then if the power steering kind of goes sketchy again, I'll buy an aftermarket like a uh, wiring system. It's an, it's an electronic power system, power steering system. Let's check out this interior. The interior is, let's see, I'm just looking at this for the first time. I didn't really go in here. This isn't too bad. Dash isn't cracked. Okay, there's a little tear right there. Dog got a hold of that one. How's the back seats looking? It's a Jeep thing. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Got it. Yeah, the back seat doesn't look too bad either. It's even got a new battery in it, which is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, make your noise. 146,000 miles. We're missing the trans tunnel covers and stuff of that nature. Uh, also, it looks like we have one hole here. Oh, we got a crack right there too. With the daylight, this is really cool because I can see right through that. We can replace this. It looks like I made a small miscalculation. I got my phone. We're running out of daylight over here, but this does have the inline six. Uh, it's very, very dirty under here. The new fenders make this project like a whole lot more manageable, which is very, very nice. Now I hear the inline six is a very respectable engine and I wanna know how many miles they really get out of these things. Aside from that, uh, this thing's pulling straight horsepower. Um, yeah. Cummins has like a million mile warranty. Duramax is they, they get over a million miles. Uh, so if you guys know what they get out of those inline sixes, leave it in the comment section below, I'd appreciate it. I could sit here all night and talk about what we're going to do with this thing, but this is kind of just, you know, the first time we're seeing this thing, the first thing we're checking this thing out. We just bought it, really, really excited about it. I do have, I, I do want to make this awesome and have this as like my daily driver and have the Duramax kind of sit sidekick until you need to haul something like this home. So if you guys have any suggestions on like names, anything, leave in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until next time, the Wrangler and 3D Machines out. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly.